Okay, we're on Edio, Perik Chet, Mishnah Gimel, third Mishnah in the eighth chapter, Masechet Edio. A little bit complicated to explain. I'm, I'm, I hope I do a good job. You'll let me know. Okay, uh, we're going to talk about what's called an Almanat Isa. Isa is dough, a dough widow. What in the world is an Almanat Isa? So first, let's read the Mishnah. He'id Rabbi Yoshua, Rabbi Yehuda ben Betera, Rabbi Yoshua and Rabbi Yehuda ben Betera testified al amanat isa on the dough widow. She kshera the kahuna. She is kshera permitted the kahuna to marry a kohen. Why? She isa kshera the tame uli taher the rachek uli kare. We're going to understand this in a minute. We'll translate it. The isa, this dough, is kasher to be mitame and mitaher, tame and tahor. Lerachek to distance, ule karev, and to bring close. So in order to understand any of this, you have to understand what is Am Amanat Isa. So just so you know, there's a whole Wikipedia entry on Amanat Isa and different opinions, etc., etc. We're going to learn it to the best of our ability using, of course, fun charts. Okay? Amanat Isa is a mishpacha achat, a family. Shinit arev ba safek chalav. In this family of Kohanim, there's what's called a safek chalav. And kol echad mibnei hamishpacha, every one of these family members, safek in hu oto safek, shinit arev bahem im la. If he's the safek chalal or not. You have a family of kohanim, and in this family of kohanim, one of them is a, is a safek chalal. Okay, what in the world is safek chalal? So in order to understand this, we have a chart. You have to understand what's a chalal. So a kohen is not allowed to marry a grusha. That's one of the women he can't marry. A zona, chalal, okay. And if a kohen marries a grusha and they have a child, that child is called a chalal. Nothing you can do about it. That child is called a chala. If a woman, a kohen chala, he can't serve the Beit HaMikdash. If a woman marries uh, a chala, she also becomes what's called a chalala. Let me see if I can find that one. She becomes, right, she leah becomes, a halach is that is called a chalala. That's the halach. Okay? So how do you become a safek chala? How do you become a safek chala? So, Ruvain Baal marries Leah. Okay? Regular wedding, regular Israel marries Leah. And then he gives her, he throws her a divorce. So the 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 Kahati gives an example. For example, he gives her a divorce, he throws her divorce, Safek Karoblo, Safek Karobla. It's unclear whether he threw the divorce and it was close, it's not clear whether it was closer to him or closer to her. So she's what's called a Safek Grusha. Well, let's give her a color Safek Grusha. Whatever, you know, whatever we're gonna give her that, we're gonna give her that color to become a Safek Grusha. Mm, let's see here. Safek Grusha. She's Safek. Okay? But then the Baal dies. Okay? So now she's a Safek Grusha, but she's also a Safek Almana. She might be a Grusha. She might be Almana. If she's a Grusha, she can't marry a Kohen. But if she's not a Grusha, if she's an Almana, she can marry a Kohen. And of course, this Kohen, what does he do? Let's, do, let's delete that. Of course, this Kohen, she then goes and marries a Kohen. So if she is a so now, and of course, what do they what do they have? This, this she and he have a child. Where are we? Let's find, let's find our Kohen. But he's not a Kohen. What is he? He is a Safek Chalal. He's a Safek Chalal. Well, let's make him bigger. Let's make him fat so we can see the whole thing. He's a Safek Chalal. Why? Because remember, she is Safek Grusha. Her husband might have divorced her. She's Safek Almana. If she's a Grusha, then this guy is a Chalal. Then he's a chalal. But if she's not a grusha, let's give him a picture like that. Safek chalal. If she's not a grusha, she's an almana, then he's a kohen. So he's a safek chalal. Let's make him smaller because I don't like him so big. He's a safek chalal. Okay, that's Allah. Now, this safek... Now, in the, there's, a, there's a family of kohanim. And in this family, one of the members of the kohanim, of the family, is a safek chalal. Meaning one of the dad married a bunch of wives, and one of the wives was a Safek Grusha Safek Almana. So one of the kids, we don't know which one, is a Safek Chalal. And this Safek Chalal, one second, you know what he did. He married a woman. He married a woman. This Safek Chalal married a woman. Okay, let's just, uh, we'll make her plain again. This Safek Chalal married this woman, married this Isha. And then, of course, what he did, after he married her, he died. Let's uh, let's make them married. Safek Chalal. And after he married her, then he, Safek Chalal, died. This woman is called, she's Almanat Isa. Okay? It's a, it's a, it's, she's, she's not, she's Almanat, no, not a Safek Chalal. This kid, 
might be one of the family, this one that married her, let's just make it clear, okay, that before he died, or let's, before, let's bring it back to life, okay, this Safek Chalal, she married one of a family of a member of Kohanim, let's, uh, Let's bring back the Kohanim. Right? She's, she married into a family of Kohanim. And in this family of Kohanim, one of them was a Safeg Chalav. Okay, so she married. It's, it's, it's a little bit complicated because we're using this, uh, this uh, word charting thing. I hope, I hope it's not too long. So she married she married one of these. And in, she, in, in the chart, you know the Safeg Chalav is. But just imagine, you, she don't know which one the Safeg Chalav is. So she married that her husband, and then her husband died. He's really a Kohen. He's really a Kohen. All these guys are Kohanim. That might be, that might be Chalalim. And she married one of these, and then her husband, of course, died. She is called an Almanat Isa. You got all that? Very complicated. We'll start again. Husband married a wife, divorced her, maybe divorced her, maybe didn't. Then he died. She's a Safek Almanat Safekusha. She's married to a Kohen. That the, the child of that coin is a fake chalal. That coin got one of in, in one of those fa- in one of the sons in a family was a fake chalal, and a, ma- a woman married one of those not knowing, and then her husband died. She is an isha called you guessed it, almanat isa. She's a doi almana. Mishpacha she did a reba safek chalal. Kol lacham ibnei mishpacha safek. All the ones of the members of this family are safek. Imhu oto safek. She need a reba him love. First of all, we don't know which the, the man she married in the Kohen family is he the Safek Chala. So a woman who married into that family, who made Baala and her husband died, he kuya almanat isa. She's called the almanat isa. Because she might be married to a saf, to a halal, but the chala is not a chala, it's only a safek chala. She might be married. So and then she's an almana. So the question is now, can another Kohen, she's an almana, I don't even know what color to give her. We'll give her green or something. She's an almana. She is uh, almanat. She is what's called. What do you call her? She is called uh, almanat isa. You have to, you have to make her a little bigger so that we have it. She is almanat isa. And another coin wants to marry her. Can a coin marry her or not? Says the Mishnah. Hey, you do it in betera. Almanat isa. She kshera the Of course, you can marry her. What does that mean? That Isa is Kshera to be Mitame and Mitaher. So, by the way, you just know, but it's a machloke. But they said it's Tahora. Bishua machshir the kuhuna. Shieshkan safek sveka ulukula. It's a safek sveka. Maybe the first husband, maybe the first mother was an amana. Maybe she didn't really marry into the, 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 the safek halal. So, it's, of course, it's a safek sveka. Rabbi Gamliel Sava, Rabbi Gamliel says, Afagal de be'ama sfeik sfeika lakula. Even though we hold normally sfeik sfeika, it's a sfeik on a sfeik on a sfeik. We're normally we're normally lenient. Ha'chashayin here it's different. Ma le asu be'yuchsin. No, we're talking about yuchsin of kohanim. We're talking about family uh, descendant genealogy. Ma le asu be'yuchsin. We're very very we're very very stringent. So what does it mean that the k'sherak isak k'sherak le'tamel u'tahel le'rachek u'lekarev? Kolomar meaning mishpacha sheni tarei ba'safeik chalav. A family that has a safek chala mixed in is becheskat kashrut kishah mishpachot amiyuchasot. It's like every other family that of miyuchasot that have that have that have verified uh, uh, lineage. Kmo shah mishpachot omrod zut meya because and the other families can say this this offspring is tmeya umit rachakimim and they distance from her vezut torah and this is torah umit karvim ota and they bring her close. Kach, similarly, mishpacha zo, this family nitma ba safek halal, that has safek halal nitma embedded in it. And you only know who will be nitma ba safek. They can't say, well, since we have a safek, and zuichim yotel livdok, kishenos im nashim. They don't have to check. Well, they can marry whoever they want. Kedei lirachek, rather, nashim eze nitma ba eze tehorah, which is tamei and tehorah. Kedei lirachek ha tamei u lukarei ba tehorah. So what it means is, okay? Shikshera lekuhuna, an almanat isa, a family that married an, has an almanat isa, okay, a family that has isa, kshera, is a family kshera, that therefore they have to be metame and metaher, they have to say which is tahar and tame, lerachek ulekare, but they have to distance those that are distanceable, and kare bring close those you can bring close, meaning they're like a regular family according to Rabbi Yoshua and Rabbi Yudu ben Betera of Yuchzin, they have Yuchzin, they're considered a family of Yuchzin. We accept your edut. We accept you are halachically correct. What can we do? 
Shegazar Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai. Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai made a decree. Shelo lo shi batei dinim akach. We no longer seat batei dinim in order to permit, uh, in order to create leniencies for yuchsin and kohanim. We don't permit, we don't per- create beit dinim. Latir amanat isa lechatchila. To permit marrying a kohen, marrying an amanat isa lechatchila. Therefore, a kohanim shomim lechem lerachek. The kohanim heard lerachek to distance. Avalo lekarev. But they don't listen to you to bring Le Karev, to bring uh, this Amanatisa back into the family. They're very, very specific. They have any questions about Yuxin? Sorry, we don't want to have anything to do with their Amanatisa. So even though you halachli correct, the Kohanim don't want to hear it. They're not, they're going to listen to you about that. And we have Xayra, Yav Yochan ben Zakkai, not to seek Batei Dinim to permit the Amanatisa. Okay, it's a long, long Mishnah, very short Mishnah, long to explain. I hope I explained it in a way that was understandable with this crazy chart. If you have any comments or questions, uh, you can email me at rspolter at gmail.com and I'll try to answer you. It's a very complicated sugya. I'll dedicate a link to the memory of my father, Rav Simcha Be'in Have a good day.